Many elderly nursing home residents are familiar with hospital emergency departments, especially during the winter months. Outbreaks of the norovirus are often the reason. This infection can cause vomiting, diarrhea, and dehydration. In a setting of a nursing home where individuals live in close quarters, uh, uh, once one case begins, uh, it, it can become very easy to spread from person to person. Tarek Trevetti, a fourth-year medical student at the University of Chicago Pritzker School of Medicine and co-authors, examined 308 nursing homes in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Oregon. All of these homes experienced at least one norovirus outbreak between January 2009 and December 2010. In nursing homes, during times of norovirus outbreak, we actually had an increase of about 9% in the rates of hospitalization as compared to non-outbreak times. The study, released online first, is published in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. There was an 11% increase in the number of deaths that were occurring uh, in nursing homes during norovirus outbreaks as compared to uh, all other time. Researchers also examined whether daily registered nurse hours were related to these increases. When we looked at nursing homes that had higher numbers of nurse hours per patient per day, we didn't see these increased deaths during norovirus outbreaks. However, we didn't see the same association with hospitalizations. Increased rates of both hospitalization and deaths were concentrated in the first and second weeks of the outbreaks, suggesting that identifying the virus early is important. For healthcare workers, thorough hand washing with soap and water is recommended after patient contact. This helps reduce the spread of infection. For healthcare workers who become infected with norovirus, we recommend that they stay home from work and not participate in patient care for at least 48 hours until after they've actually recovered from their illness. Nursing home residents often have other underlying health issues. Researchers say it is difficult to assess whether the outbreak is actually causing death or hospitalization or whether it is happening simultaneously during another illness. Catherine Dahl, The JAMA Report.